Hello, hello, Heather Anderson here from the Epic Charter Schools design team, and I want to show off the Littles navigation in Schoology. Now, a quick note that Schoology and Epic Ed are actually separate things. So we designers create the content and the curriculum, but Schoology actually is owned by a separate company, and all the features that you see are created by Schoology employees. And so the more feedback that we give to them as parents, as teachers, Teachers, as administrators, as designers, the more features that we get in Schoology. So keep that feedback coming. Um, let us know what works, what does not. And we love to give that feedback to Schoology so that we can get the features that we need to meet as many students' needs as possible. Okay, so thank you for that. All right, I'm going to show off the Littles Navigation. Now, the Littles Navigation for pre-K through second grade is a little bit different than third grade through eighth grade. And that's because because this, the pre-K through second grade is more button-based. Let's take a look at Pre-K ELA, which has the Littles Navigation. Okay, so this is super button-based, and so kids can see a button for everything here. We've got buttons for the units, buttons for the weeks, and so as you can see, we've got a student resource folder, week one, and then here's a banner for unit two. Now, the banner for unit two shows you what standards are for that unit, and as you can see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move my screen a little bit, you can see what standards they're for focusing on. All right, so I am going to tell you that really, besides the buttons there, um, really the big button that you want to train your students to click on is this back button. And I know that it's a little small and, and that's kind of annoying, but it's okay because if they can figure out apps, if they can figure out video games, and I know because my kid's one of these, they can figure out this back button. They can do it, they can. Um, by the way, I wanna note something here. Check out this immersive reader button. This is really great. If I click on this right here, and it's off to the right on pages, um, it will read off the text to your student. So if I click play, this unit, it will we are read going it to off. Be covering our five yeah, um, so that's kind of nice. Now, if it is a presentation or say a PDF, most likely it will be a presentation. Um, it will not read it off. It has to be just typed on the page. But our designers have poured hours and hours and hours into recording our voices uh, and reading off those slides to your uh, child. Okay, so I'm going to hit this back button here. And again, that back button is going to be your child's best friend there. Okie dokie. So let's take a look at this a little bit more. Here we go. So if I click into week two, which is sound week two, it breaks it down into lessons. And up at the top here, I like this um, for the pre-Ks. It gives me the standards that they're working on. As a parent myself, I really like that. I want to know what my child is working on at any, any given time. So I like that for pre-K. All right. So I'm going to notice that it breaks it down into buttons for lesson one, two, three, four. The pacing is always up to you, the parent and the teacher to collaborate and decide on that pacing. And so make sure that you talk with your teacher to ask, okay, how should we pace this out? Should I do lesson one on Monday, lesson two on Tuesday, or should I just do ELA on Mondays and then science on Tuesdays? Definitely talk to your teacher about that. Okay, so say I am in week one, lesson one of welcome week and I have viewed all there is to view. I feel very confident after watching that video. I've done an alphabet freeze dance because, you know, littles, they're very hands-on, very mobile. And remember, I've clicked the back button at the top left. Very important button. Okay, so I've clicked that back button. Now, here is the thing. It, with the bigs navigation, it gives you a lovely progress bar at the top um, and it gives green check marks to show what you have done and what you have not done. With littles, it doesn't quite do that on the navigation. And so again, that back button, very important. Um, so it's kind of easy if the if the kiddos are sitting on the couch um, and they're, they're clicking through and they don't quite remember what have I clicked on, what have I not clicked on, where am I, that kind of situation. 
information. And so, uh, you know, with littles, it's very important parental involvement, super, super important. Um, but to help you out in that situation, teachers should be providing you with a pacing guide. And so here's what the pacing guide looks like. Uh, you will receive a copy of this and teachers are able to edit this how, uh, however that suits your individual child's needs. They can add in things, they can highlight things for you, etc. They can add in enrichment, remediation, etc. just like they can to the curriculum. And so over here we have, like here's all the pre-K ELA activities. Okay, we have built a background video. Yes, we've done that. I'm going to check it off. Okay. Oh, and look, it it creates a little mark through. That's great. Okay. Then we click into here. All right. We've done that. We've done that. We've done that. So this is a really great tool to use to kind of keep track of what you have done and what you need to do. So I would definitely use this pacing guide and make it your own. Um, work with your teacher to maybe put in, okay, this is what we're doing on Monday. This is what we're doing on Tuesday and so on and so forth. So this is going to be such a great tool to use for families. Um, to help keep track of what you are doing in the curriculum. So I wanna show off just a few more things at the end of each week that you can expect. So at the end of each week, you can expect an exit ticket. And so this big button that says exit ticket, this is going to be a few questions to help teachers and to help parents know, okay, what what is my child struggling with? Um, did they understand the material that they learned this week? And so that is the exit ticket right there. And then we have this upload button. This applies to pre-K through first graders. Second graders will have more submissions to make um, where they kind of type in things, et cetera, um, to get them used to writing. Uh, and so I'm going to click on upload here and show this off. So we want our little bitties to be moving and grooving. We want them to be writing things on paper, physical paper. We want them drawing. We want them creating awesome works of art with paints and with markers. And we want them creating Play-Doh monstrosities. We want them to be building towers out of Legos and all that jazz, right? We want them to be actually, you know, playing, learning through play. And so we don't want them online all the time, all day. We don't want that. Instead, we want them to be able to show off their work for their teachers at the end of the week or throughout the week, right? And so this is a great way that we are able to do that. So this is an upload folder um, that you can utilize throughout the week or just at the end of the week. And so it says, please upload any offline work completed um, per your teacher teacher's instructions. And so I love this. Um, I, I absolutely love this where uh, students can take a photo of themselves. Say they're holding up a drawing and they're taking a picture of it. They're proud of their work. Or they can record a video. Say they have created the super silliest skit ever for the ABCs. They got to record a video of it to show their teacher. I love that so much. They can record audio of them singing a song. Um, they can upload another thing if they need to, like a project. They can also type right here. And so all of these are available in the upload folder. Again, this is for pre-K through first graders. Second graders will be doing more of submission type work um, where they have certain things that they need to type or audio or they record videos throughout the curriculum. All right. So that is what you can expect um, in the uh, navigation for the little bitties. Now, I will tell you that if this is not your jam, if you do not think the button system is going to work very well for your child, um, that's okay because we can switch it to the normal view. Um, so your teacher is able in the settings to, to make it more like the bigs view, to make it more folder based where you do have the check marks and the progress bar um, so that you know where you are in the curriculum. If you think that would help your student a bit more, we can make that happen for you. Um, just let your teacher know communication is key. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Always be talking to your teacher. We are here to support you and to meet your child's needs. We want them to have fun this year. And so I hope that you have a phenomenal school year.